In this episode of The Butt Chronicles, we take a look at Beavis and Butthead, episode 40, Cleaning House. Uh, welcome to Industrial Industries World Radios, The Butt Chronicles. Uh, you said welcome. Uh, oh, God. Hey, yo, yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen and butt munches alike? Welcome to The Butt Chronicles. Your audio guide to everything Beavis and Butthead. And I'm your host, DJ Glowing Ice. And today we are taking a look at Beavis and Butthead episode 40. We're on 40 episodes now. And this one's titled Cleaning House. Cleaning House first aired on MTV on September 20th, 1993. And that's about it for now. So now let's go into the story and see what happens with Beavis and Butthead in Cleaning House. The episode starts in Highland High School, inside Mr. Van Dreesen's room. Van Dreesen is standing at a chalkboard with a bar graph and a line chart, as he says, And that's how supply and demand fuels our capitalist system. Cut to Beavis and Butthead sitting in their desks in the back of the class. Hey Beavis, I thought he was going to talk about how to get money. Yeah, (laughs) me too. This sucks. Cut back to Van Dreesen up front as he says, Now capitalism isn't the only choice in our multicultural world. In Denmark, for example, the school bell rings, interrupting Van Dreesen, and the class ends as students leave. Beavis and Butthead walk up to Van Dreesen as he's packing books into a bag on his desk. Eh, were you talking about money? Beavis holds out his hand and says, Yeah, (laughs) can we have some? Van Dreesen replies, Beavis, you have to work to acquire money. Don't you remember when I talked about the concept of work? We then cut to the boys as the screen gets blurry as they sit there and try to remember what Van Dreesen said in the past. But nothing happens. Butthead then says, Uh, I guess it was like a long time ago. Yeah, we forget. Well, enough preaching. I think I'm going to introduce you boys to the rewards of manual labor, says Van Dreesen. There's a manual? Hey, <laughs> reading sucks. Next shot is an angle looking down onto Van Dreesen's house as Van Dreesen and Beavis and Butthead walk up to the front door. Van Dreesen's house is a simple one-floor house with a garage attached to the right side. The sidewalk up front is cracked, the yard looks unkempt, and weeds are grown up against his house, as well as his roof is patched in some spots. This house is complete with the vehicle of choice by Van Dreesen, a Volkswagen bus from the 60s, which is greenish-yellow and covered with painted-on flowers. Van Dreesen lifts his arms up towards the house to show Beavis and Butthead and says, Mi casa. The boys laugh and then get wide-eyed in surprise as the door to his house opens. Inside the house, it's styled and fashioned with things from the 1960s and 1970s. The curtains in the house are purple with orange flower designs. A lava lamp bubbles off to the side as we see posters of mountains on the walls and a couch full of multicolored pillows. A bookshelf displaying a tape deck and a record player line one wall. An acoustic guitar is laying on the floor next to a white, half-open, egg-shaped seat. Now, as we scan across Van Dreesen's house, sitar music plays in the background, and Van Dreesen walks up to a closet door, displaying a poster that reads, Seek Relief, Streak. Van Dreesen opens the closet door and says, Well, guys, now's your chance to earn your daily bread. Yeah, bread is cool. Van Dreesen then starts handing the boys cleaning supplies and continues stacking them in their arms. The boys now look upset as they have a pile of supplies in their arms. Cut to Van Dreesen with a loofah in his hand who says, And try to use the natural sponges, but not my prized loofah, of course. And oh yes, you'll find the recycling bins out in the garage. I don't get it, says Beavis. He wants us to wear rubber gloves. As Van Dreesen opens the front door to leave, he says to the boys, Oh, and one more thing. Try to be careful. In fact, 
make sure you don't touch my irreplaceable 8-track collection. We then cut to a shot of seeing a long view of an entire wall full of 8-track tapes displayed on shelves. Van Driesen then says, Okay guys, have fun and remember to recycle, and drives off in his Volkswagen bus. The boys, standing inside the house, drop all the cleaning supplies and look at the 8-tracks on the shelves. The 8-tracks are labeled with names of bands like Funkadelic, Al Green, Mamas and Papas, Crosby, Stills and Nash, Gordon Lightfoot, Judy Collins, Johnny Longlove, Joan Bays, Neil Diamond, Baloney, and Bread. Hey, Butthead, what are these things? I don't know. Beavis grabs an 8-track from the shelf and breaks it as he tries to open it. The tape spills from the reel inside the 8-track and onto the floor. Beavis laughs and says, This one's broken. Butthead grabs an 8-track of the band Three Dog Night off the shelf and says, Cool. Let's watch it. Butthead then attempts to push the 8-track into a VCR on the shelves with a TV sitting on top of it. After a few attempts of jamming the 8-track into the VCR, Butthead turns to Beavis. Uh, <laughs> it won't fit, Beavis. It must fit somewhere. Maybe your butt. Cut to Butthead, who now has a hammer in his hand, and proceeds to hammer the 8-track into the VCR slot, breaking the 8-track in the process. Butthead presses play, and distorted mechanical sounds come from the speakers. The boys look disgusted at first, and then they start laughing. Next, the boys, still inside Van Driesen's house, are sitting on his couch as busted 8-track tapes are scattered all over the floor. Hey, Butthead, what were we supposed to do again? I think he said don't touch, uh, the house. Weren't we supposed to, like, clean something? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the tapes. Cool. <laughs> Cut to a shot of the boys in Van Driesen's kitchen, next to the sink, which is full of soapy water. Butthead grabs arms full of 8-track tapes and drops them into the sink of water. Beavis grabs a few from the water, shakes the water off them, and drops them onto the floor. As 8-track tapes on the kitchen floor are broken, Beavis says, Hey Butthead, I know a cool way to dry these. Which he then puts an 8-track tape in both slots of a toaster, and pushes down on the handle. As the tapes are toasting inside, Beavis laughs and says, He's gonna pay us a lot of money for this. The phone on the wall rings, and Butthead answers it. Uh, hello? Cut to a shot of Van Driesen with a phone to his head, standing out front of a car repair shop. The sign on the shop has peace symbols on it, going by the name Holistic Car Detailing. His Volkswagen bus is parked inside, and Van Driesen says, Hello, butthead? Hey, guess what? I'm in the process of purchasing goods and services. As he talks into the phone, Beavis walks over to a stereo and puts a tape in and blasts rock music loudly. As Van Driesen hears the music blaring through the phone, he says, Butthead? What's that noise? Cut to butthead on the phone as he says, Uh... It's the Dirt Busters. Van Driesen's voice comes on over the phone and says, Oh great, I'm looking forward to see how you clean the house. Butthead laughs and says, Cleaned the house. Cut to a full shot of the kitchen as Butthead stands in the center. The sink is overflowing with water as it falls onto the floor. A smoke detector is going off. Things are smoking and broken 8-track tapes are everywhere. Butthead says, <laughs> Okay, bye. Next scene, the boys are sitting on the couch in Van Driesen's living room as Van Driesen walks through the front door and stands in the center of the room. Van Driesen says, Beavis? Butthead? I'm shocked. Everything is so clean. The conversation pit looks as neat as a pin. Well, I don't know what you guys did, but you two are geniuses. Butthead laughs and says, we did an extra special job. Yeah, cause you're special. Well guys, I'm glad you took our little lesson to heart, says Van Driesen, as he pulls money from his pockets. 
Van Dreesen then hands Beavis and Butthead each a $1 bill and says, You certainly earned this, boys. The boys grab the money in disappointment. Beavis and Butthead are back at their house now, sitting on the couch as rock music plays from their TV. What a dork. He ripped us off, says Butthead. Yeah, work sucks. Cut to Van Dreesen back at his house, walking up to his garage door as he says, What a wonderful job, those boys. He lifts up the door to his garage, to shock, as he sees five huge mountains of 8-track tapes overflowing in his recycling bins. Van Dreesen screams, Ah! My 8-tracks! I'm gonna kill those little jerks! As we look at Van Dreesen's face, a rumbling sound starts, and then it cuts to a side shot of Van Dreesen standing outside his garage as a mountain of 8-tracks fall onto him and bury him. After all the 8-tracks fall onto Van Dreesen, we only see his hand sticking out from underneath it all. Cut back to Beavis and Butthead sitting on their couch as they laugh continuously. And that is Beavis and Butthead in Cleaning House. Now let's get into the music videos. The first music video is School's Out by Crocus, and the boys think the video sucks. Butthead says he's sick of seeing videos in school, and if he wanted to see a video in school, he'd go to school and watch TV. Seeing a hot chick in a bikini sitting on top of a locker, Butthead says that the locker is pretty cool. They continue calling the video sickening and disgusting, and Beavis says that the singer's head sucks, and Butthead says that his chest is no picnic either. Next music video is Like a Child Again by Mission UK, and Butthead asks if it's circus music, and Beavis mistakes the singer as Bono, the singer of U2, and he says, Bono sucks. Butthead makes fun of how the singer says, With you! and asks why English people are always whiny. He then calls the singer a lipstick-wearing whiny wussy. And the last music video is Crucified by Army of Lovers, and seeing the chick with the big boobs in the video, the boys cheer. But when it cuts to shots of the men in the video, they scream, No! 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 Seeing the chick again, Beavis says, I wish I had boobs like that. Butthead says, Yeah. If I had boobs like that, I'd never leave the house. I'd leave the house just so I could get a mirror and look at my boobs. And that's the music videos. Now let's get into the fun facts. The fun facts for this episode are few and far between, but this episode was officially released on the Work Sucks Home Video, and Cleaning House is the ninth episode of Season 3 of Beavis and Butthead, and it's the 40th episode overall. And IMDB, the Internet Movie Database, gives Beavis and Butthead Cleaning House a 7.7 .7 out of 10 rating. Now, I'll give you my review. I remember this uh, episode as a kid watching it. I really didn't grasp the idea of what 8-tracks were, but I, I guess I had a... a kind of an idea but I didn't know you know in the cultural scheme of things you know that they were irreplaceable and the reason why they're phased out and all of that but I was just like oh okay so now watching it again you know I could actually take in everything and know exactly what's going on but uh, remembering this back in the day and even today, it, I, it really wasn't that funny of an episode. It's funny seeing how much of a hippie Mr. Van Dreesen is. And uh, still, it, it was more of just a cool episode of Beavis and Butthead ruining their hippie teacher's 8-track collection. Uh, so that's cool. Not really that funny, though. What we're looking for here, what I'm looking for exactly, is funny moments. Just the complete thing is perfect overall. And this episode just kind of seemed like a meh. You know, it was decent. It was Beavis and Butthead. Don't get me wrong. Like, I do not get me wrong. Beavis and Butthead are great. But this wasn't one of the highlights, uh, at least to me. The music videos, on the other hand, were good. 
the uh, the last one with uh, the chick with big boobs is the one I remember a lot growing up watching again and again and again. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the music videos were great. So overall, I want to give this episode, I give it a 6 out of 10. Yeah, it, that's decent. That's fair for this episode. Like I said, it was cool. Not really that funny. It was just kind of, it had its moments, you know, but uh, it was, uh, wasn't was as great as some other episodes that I'm aware of. So there we go, guys. Beavis the Butthead, Cleaning House, gets a 6 out of 10.